Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. It's going to be smoking. It's going to be swearing on here. So if you don't like those things, you've been warned. Look, it's here coming. Three. Look, look, look. Two. Look, look. One. Bye. Welcome, everyone. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. <laughs> yes. So look, look. All right, guys. So we have a good show for you today. Great show for you today. Good. Please. Look, look, great. Stupendous. Yeah. I, I can't even say the words of it, how great it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Seriously, though, guys, today, I mean, I am serious. It is great and stupendous, but look. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, guys, so seriously, though. So we're going to talk about the Zcash hard fork. Yeah, Zcash hard forked. <laughs> they hard forked into something called Ycash. All right, so we're going to talk about the hard fork. And then... Look at this. Chinese court rules on crypto. A court in, we'll see the province. I don't remember. I think it was Guangzhou province. They, anyways, they did a crypto ruling. And so we'll just talk about it when we get there. Okay. And then backed. Bang. So next time I see you, by the next time I see you, backed should be having its testing up and running. This Monday on the 22nd, July 22nd, today's the 20th. Today's 4.17 a.m. on July 20th. On Monday, July 22nd, bang, Bact is going to be up for its testing, and we're going to talk about the testing and stuff like that. And then we're going to do shout-outs, bang, in our daily summary, then bang, look, look. So let's begin how we begin, brothers. Look. Let's do how we do it. All right, what are we dealing with here? What are we dealing with? What are we dealing with? Look, let's do a refresh. Bye. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. Not much. So we got Bitcoin is at $10,574. And when I left you last night, or whenever you watch it, we were at $10,522. So that was a whole $52 rise today. Yes. Big money. Big money. <laughs> All right, guys. Look, look. Top 10 of the day, brothers. See what we're working with here. All right, see what we're working with. Top 10 of the day, brothers. Bang, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, Binance Coin, Tether, EOS, Bitcoin SV, and oh, Tron takes over the number 10 once again. Yes, the usual suspects. Bang, yes. All right, what do we got? Single digits up, single digits down. Actually, Bitcoin SV and Tron kicked a little ass, didn't they? Look at them. They're at double digits right there, low double digits. Look, but we're going to call this single digits up, single digits down. Yes, the song of 2019. Single digits up to single digits down. Single digits up to single digits down. V chain still at a nice price. Man, for only for six G's, you get a million V chain. Look, look. Single digits up, single digits down. All right. Now, let's look at who lost money today. If you see anything in here you like, go get it because it is back. You know what I say. On sale, brothers. On sale, brothers. Let's see what we got on sale today. Bang. Top 10 losers of the day, brothers. Quant, Maximine Coin, Bitcoin Gold, Unas said C Leo, Sentiment Network, ABC Coin, Metaverse CTP, Lambda, Bycoin, and Bank Inside Chain. Yes. Now, let's look who made money. Boom. Oh, there's some money being made right there. All right. Top 10 wins of the day, brothers. Wax, Japan Content, Ran, Aurora, Gollum, Bitcoin SV, Tron, Bitcoin Diamond, Ravencoin, and Bank Dent. Yes. All right. Now, let's look at the total market cap of the day, brothers. What are we working with? What are we working with today? Yes. 288.2 billion. And last night we were at 264.8. So that gave us a little $24 billion jump in the market cap. And let's look at the total volume of the day. $64.5. Nice. So, and yesterday we had way more volume. So yesterday we were at 77.4. Today we're at 64.5. So we went down $13 billion in volume. Yeah, but we went up in market cap. That tells me 
buying. Look and holding. Nice. Look. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Good stuff right there. Now, let's see if this holds over the weekend. <laughs> Shit. Look. Let's move on now, brothers. Bang. Privacy focused coin. Zcash forks into new blockchain network. Y Cash. <laughs> yes. Not very creative with the names over at that that company there, are they? <laughs> yeah. Zcash, Y Cash, W Cash. Don't get creative with it, brothers. Look. All right. Hold on. Let me get some beverages. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even set up my goods yet. But anyway, so it's a hard fork. Zcash. Let's check it out. Let us begin. Let's proceed. Look, look, privacy focused digital currency, Zcash, has forked into a new blockchain network dubbed Ycash, whose total supply amounts to 21 million coins. According to a tweet by the Ycash Foundation, the first block of Ycash was mined today, July 19th at 736.51 p.m. PDT. Look, Ycash forked off Zcash blockchain at block height 570,000 and is independent from both the Electric Coin Company, the firm behind Zcash, and the Zcash Foundation. So they're their own thing. All right. One second. The Ycash project. All right. The Ycash project was initially announced in April when the Ycash team member Howard Liu revealed in a forum post that they are launching the first friendly fork of the Zcash blockchain. Per the post, the Ycash project is set to restore a goal, mining on commodity hardware, that appears to have been largely abandoned on the Zcash blockchain. Okay, mining on commodity hardware. That's what they say, okay. So in a post published on its official website, the Ycash team explains that Ycash is built upon the Zcash codebase and has shared blockchain history similar to Zcash's, which means that every user in control of Zcash private keys, as of block height 570,000, is able to use those private keys to access the same number of Ycash. Wow. Oh. All right, so the post also says that 90% of the total 21 million Ycash coins are distributed through the mining process, while 5% of the coins starting at block height 570,000 are going to the Ycash Development Fund, which is managed by the Ycash Foundation. In late June, the Electric Coin Company announced its intention to build a new scalable Zcash blockchain. The company is reportedly considering implementing sharding, a scalability solution that Ethereum devs also plan to integrate into that network in the near future. Bang! Look, look! So look, there we go, Zcash hodlers. Wow, so it sounds like you got you you got right, it says right here. Right? You get you get to use your private keys and you get the same number of Y cash. So if you're a Zcash hodler, look, look, get over there to the the Y cash thing and go get your free Y cash coin. So it's a nice hard fork. So Zcash, bang, Y cash, bang, hard fork, look, look. Nice. All right. Bang. Chinese court declares Bitcoin legally protected asset. Yes. Now, look, I was debating whether to read this story or not because here in America, right, we have what are called three co equal branches of government. We have the legislative branch, the, the, legis, uh, the executive branch. The legislate, legislative branch and the, judi the judicial branch, right? And they're all equal. So, sure, the legislators could write a law, but our courts can override it. Um, our president can veto, a, veto something or say something, and our congressman can override him, right? Like, each side can override each other. So, I'm not sure how powerful Chinese courts are. So, what I'm trying to say is, if Chinese courts are like our courts, in other words, when the court says this is the law, then that's the law, 
then this is very good news. But, you know, in China, it's a one-party system, right? The Chinese Communist Party. And so, you know, maybe some judge says something and they're like, yeah, fuck what that judge says. Do you understand what I'm trying to get get at? Like, in other countries, you know, the legal systems, they're kind of used by the politicians, you know, and by the by the ruling parties. They're not free like here where even though a party rules yeah a judge might say nah fuck that that law isn't good or whatever you know what i mean all right so that's all i'm saying about this story okay but if they're if their courts are strong like ours fuck luck and this is real good news all right chinese court declares bitcoin a legally protected asset so, a founding partner of the venture capital and private equity firm Primitive Ventures says a court case in China may have played a role in Bitcoin's sudden burst from 9,400 to 10,600. So, this guy's trying to say that it's because of this court ruling why the price of Bitcoin has gone up in the past couple of days. Uh, I doubt that. Who knows? But according, because I've also heard, anyway, whatever, man, just fuck, who cares? Uh, until the floodgates open, I really don't care. According to Dovi Wan, the Bitcoin buzz on Chinese social media points to a new ruling in a Chinese court affirming Bitcoin is legally protected, is a legally protected virtual property with inherent value. Bye. And so, you know, that's what they call here in America, like legislating from the bench. The bench is the judge's bench. You know, the judge sits on a bench. And so here in America, when a judge rules on some law that was passed or something or rules on anything, yeah, that supersedes everything. Everything. Like here in America, we have, you know, like abortion rights, right? So it's called Roe versus Wade. That's a big thing here in America, right? A woman's right to have an abortion. Yeah, if the Supreme Court says, no, you're not allowed to have one, that's it. That's it, right? The, the the legislators would have to rewrite new law again and pass it again. Yeah, the, you know, yeah, the judges run run shit, you know, <laughs> so to speak, right, in their power. They can overrule laws. All right. Like medical marijuana, right? Yeah, if the Supreme Court says, Psh, nah, man, medical marijuana is banned in America, yo, the whole of America would have to stop that, right? Yeah, uh-huh. So, all right, so what are we talking about here? Oh, we're talking about Bitcoin, yes. So the guy says, Dovi Wan says, I was browsing Weibo and WeChat on sentiment around the sharp Bitcoin rally. Instead of Libra folks, oh, sorry. Instead of Libra, folks attributed the rally to the case about then I realized it's indeed a big milestone. Oh, he's talking about, they were they were talking about this Chinese thing. This is like unreal to me, actually. Has been under years of holding Bitcoin is illegal, you motherfucking criminal cloud in China, mainland China. And now it's all clear. Thank you, Bitcoin. All right, so let me just explain because this guy doesn't write, write good English. So he was looking at sentiment on Weibo and WeChat and he wasn't finding any, he wasn't finding as much Libra stuff. He was finding a lot of, these people talking about this court case. I'm going to talk to you about the court case in a second. And um, this court case I'm about to talk to you about. And and so that's it, you know. So he's, you know, shocked. Like, it's a big deal because, you know, the Chinese know about it. And look, well, well, why do you give a fuck about China? Look, if you're new here, brother, let me tell you something. One in five people on earth are Chinese, right? One in five people on earth are Indian. Yeah, did you know that? Yeah, the rest of us, we're just sprinkled in. <laughs> yeah, we're just sprinkled in. Yeah, one in five are Chinese. What? Yeah, they have over a billion people in China. They have over a billion people in India. Yeah, how many billion, how many <laughs> fractions of a billion does your fucking little country have? Probably not much. <laughs> Even here in America, well, yeah, we're 300 billion. We have 300 million. Yeah, that's a quarter of what China has, right? For every American, there's four Chinese. Ah, just telling you. Look, so it matters. It matters. We need that whale money. Look. So this case was decided in Hangzhou, 
which holds one of China's three internet courts, reports Beijing News. So I just learned this today. Uh, I guess an internet court is a, a, just any electronic sort of computer crime. Bang, you guys, you get sent to one of these. So it's worth noting that this is the first time that our court has determined the attributes of the virtual property of digital currency such as Bitcoin. The Hangzhou Internet Court stated that Bitcoin has the value, scarcity, and disposable nature of property as a right uh, property as a right object and should be recognized as virtual property as its virtual property status. Bang! Virtual property. Exactly, it's scarce. It's like uh, you know, if you buy uh, sorry, sorry, let me let me say this better. You know, if you build a a neighborhood Right, you you put up a hundred houses. All right, well that neighborhood only has a hundred scarcity, and uh, and and then, then people buy it. It's like property. Well, I mean it is property. It's your house now, right? You own the house and the property under it, right? That's what they're saying. Bitcoin is. They're saying it's property, um, like owning a house and a, a little plot of land. So you own a little plot of land in the cryptoverse. You know what I mean? All right. So Dowie. <clears throat> and this is true. Dawi warns that this just, this does not mean crypto exchanges are suddenly legal in China. China restricted crypto-related businesses business activities, banned initial coin offerings, and stopped bank from servicing exchanges back in 2017. Since then, people in China have used OTC, over-the-counter trading, to purchase cryptocurrency. Go to Investopedia.com and just Google uh, and then look up OTC, over-the-counter. So to be clear here... <clears throat> <clears throat> Holding a Bitcoin as a private property is legal does not mean trading Bitcoin in a systematic way is legal yet. So don't equate this as a crypto exchange. Wait, so don't equate this as crypto exchange is legal in China. There is still a long way to go, one step at a time. Yes, so, and that's the truth. So, but it's been, uh, so they're not allowed to trade them and stuff yet. We've been reading about that since last year. But, I mean, you can own them. And they're viewed as property now in China, according to their courts. Like I said, I don't know how much power their courts have, but I mean, they're not some backward third world country. So, I mean, <clears throat> their courts probably should have some sort of standing. And so, yeah, guys, great news, great news, great news. I mean, if, you know, maybe they can't trade them and stuff, but hey, if I can at least buy them and hold them, buy, look, look, that's what matters. That's what matters. Like I said, one point one one in five people on Earth are Chinese, son. Ugh. We need all that Chinese hodling we can get. Look, so look, look. That's China. Bang now. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> back. So back is coming on Monday. So Bitcoin approaches second inning is back to exchange launch near yes, Monday. Well, not the full thing. It's just a test thing. I'll read it right here. Uh, I know a lot of you guys. I got one of the brothers, Bob, one of the crew. He he doesn't believe this is going to happen. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I was talking about back, and he was like, yeah, well, if it ever happens. I was like, it is going to happen. He was like, we'll see. Like, so, I, I mean, I understand it's been delayed a bunch of times, and actually we're going to read about it here too. But it was delayed because, and this is what I told Bob. I was like, yeah, Bob, it was delayed because they kept trying to get the approval from the CFTC, right? And, but they didn't need to get approval. BACT is controlled by ICE. ICE controls the New York Stock Exchange, owns the New York Stock Exchange, okay? So ICE doesn't need approval from the SEC or the CFTC to do anything they want. And so, but they were doing it because the CEO said, he was like, oh, wow. Well, you know, we want third-party certification, you know, to make us look real good and everything, right? Sorry, sorry, that's, uh, let me say this properly. It's sounding like a child right there. To make the product, to be, make the product be verified by a third party, and, you know, everyone just feels more comfortable using those futures contracts and stuff, right? And so... Yeah, that's what they were doing. The CFTC were taking their time, and that's why finally they were just like, yo, fuck all this shit. We're going to self-certify. 
Bact can self certify set of sort of well ICE, who owns Bact, can self certify anything they want in America. Anything they want. Right? And so that's why when you guys are like, Shmori man, is this thing gonna really come this time? I think so, because they said fuck the CFTC. We're just gonna self certify. Why say you're gonna self certify if you're not? So look, all right, look. So here they come, brothers. Oh, and this is good news. This is institutional grade. That's what we need, brothers. Man, we need this institutional money badly. So look. Bact has been trumpeted as a future main driver of crypto institutional adoption and even the bull market. The Bitcoin futures exchange boasts everything Wall Street firms are looking for. Everything they need. These guys run the New York Stock Exchange. They know what these boys want. Oh, and they're going to give it to them. Oh, yeah. On a shiny silver platter. The Bitcoin Futures Exchange boasts everything Wall Street firms are looking for. A promise of uncorrelated returns to the stock market plus the confidence of regulatory oversight. Yes. But in case you haven't noticed, BACT hasn't launched yet. Yes, this is the dilemma. <laughs> this is about to change, increasing the chances that the 2019 Bitcoin bull run has just gotten started. It has, brothers, and that's why I'm telling you guys, November, December, man. I'm not even going to bullshit you. I think October might even be... Uh, but just November, December to be safe. We're going to start rocking and rolling. Like big, big time. You know, like big, big time. Um, I think that's going to be the start of... I told you guys, like I was alive for the dot-com bubble, right? Yeah, the dot-com bubble lasted eight years. I think November, December is going to be the beginnings of the cryptocurrency bubble. Yep. The very beginnings. Like where it starts really bang, bang, bubble, bubble, bubble. And we go off for the next few years of just frenzy i mean if you're my age you remember the dot-com bubble if you're young look, it was crazy everyone was investing in microsoft and cisco and everything everybody yeah your neighbor <laughs> little old lady yeah she'd be like yeah i've got cisco shares yeah she didn't even know what a router was but she was making money at it well, you'll see it was crazy all right um it was a frenzy that's what i call it a frenzy it was just a frenzy <laughs> <laughs> it was so wild. You know, I was a I was a I was a kid in, in 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 university then, right? So I didn't have money, you know. I had little shitty little jobs and like I didn't really get it, you know. I should take that money and invest, so I didn't. Yeah, well, this is gonna be the same thing. Yeah, well now I'm an adult and I'm not gonna miss this one. Look. Yeah, I'm not gonna miss this bubble. So back has been blah blah blah, institutional adoption, even the bull market. The Bitcoin futures ex oh, oh, we read all that. Oh, yes. So the back launch has taken longer than many in the crypto community expected. But the wheels are in motion. Bob, the wheels are in motion, brother. Stand strong, brother. <laughs> On July 22nd, user acceptance testing. Okay, so let's get real here. This is the important part. So on July 22nd, that's Monday, user acceptance testing. Okay, so on July 22nd, user. Ah, oh, this one doesn't highlight very nicely. User acceptance testing, UAT, is scheduled to begin, according to the exchange. Meanwhile, a Fundstrat research report reveals back launch is expected late in the current quarter. So, the full launch. So, they're going to just do, so on, so Monday is just user acceptance testing, all right? And then later, once they've tested it, obviously, and it all works when all the bells and whistles are fixed and all the problems are fixed or whatever, bye. Then we'll get it. And so there's talking about later this quarter. Excuse me. Um, and this could very well be when the sidelined capital finally makes its way into the market. Fun strat quant strategist Sam Doctor tweet exactly. There's a lot of money that wants to come in here. Like I told you guys though, they're not gonna come in here, you know, using Coinbase and Binance, you know, and BitMEX and stuff like that. These guys aren't gonna trust that shit. They're not gonna trust these kind of little shady little crypto shits. Like, to them, they're garbage. Binance and all that, that's garbage to them. 
But when Bact comes out, yeah, it's run by the guys who run the New York Stock Exchange. They're used to that. That's what they're used to. Quality. You know what I mean? These guys are country club fuckers. You know what I mean? Coinbase and Binance and, and BitMEX, that's like going in the hood. <laughs> you know what I mean? The ghetto. Yeah, they're not going to do that. And so that's what makes it good because all that sidelined capital, like what it says right here, all that sidelined money, the money that wants to come, will finally be like, okay, this is worthy of me. You know, these guys have the proper insurance, the proper custody, the proper, you know, it's ICE. You know, the guys who run the New York Stock Exchange. So, you know, they know what they're doing. You know, if I'm a $50 billion hedge fund, I'm not going to trust my shit. <laughs> Some little crap like Bitmax, you know, or BitStart or, or any of these fucking pieces of shit. Like, that's garbage. That's ghetto shit. Right? So that's what's so amazing about this, guys, is that this will bring institutional money off see what it says here sidelined capital and here comes the here comes more of the flood here comes more of the trickle right and that's what we need i'm going to tell you this and that's what we need around the world actually we need the europeans one of their big dogs their big main exchange guys i don't know who owns their exchanges but for them to come out with uh some investment vehicles in <coughs> you know <clears throat> Yeah, all around the world, right? All these countries, their main guys. This BitMEX, this Coinbase, this Binance and shit. Big dogs, institutional investors, bang, from around the world. They're not going to use that crap, right? Little, Like I said, little cowboy hedge funds will. Yeah, I'm a $10 million hedge fund. I'm a $50 million hedge fund. Sure, I'm a little cowboy. I'll go use that crap. But when I'm a big dog, you know, $50 billion hedge fund and shit like that, $20 billion hedge fund, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to trust my client's funds on just some crazy little shit like that, right? And so that's what's so great that they're going to bring up the, the sideline money. And that's what, and so let me put it this way as well. So you better buy, buy, fucking buy. Yes, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate hard. Hard. Because, I mean, like I said, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash... The other only four that are regulated here in America right now. <clears throat> but when Bitcoin starts rising real nice, and it will, yeah, it's going to drag everything else up, right? So you want to get, if you're not, if you don't want to get those large caps, if you're more, you know, I don't know why, you know, you're more into the small caps, whatever, get them now. Get them now before this thing comes online. Um, yeah, back, you know, before it pushes your prices up too much, right? Like I just showed you, what was it, like five? 5,000 bucks will get you a million V-chain, right? Or whatever you want, you know, like whatever you want. But, I mean, V-chain's the one that I think that's going to make you millions. Just my opinion. I'm not chilling. I'm just telling you. Yeah, for 5,900 bucks, bang, million V-chain. Yeah, when that shit goes to a dollar <laughs> with your BMW, Walmart, Deloitte, onboardings, PWC, BYD, look, look, look. Well, you're a millionaire, right? All right. So what were we talking about? Yeah, but the sideline capital. Right, right. Our money coming. Bang, yours. I haven't forgotten about you, sons of bitches. <laughs> so yeah, man, back is going to bring that money in, man. It's going to be great. And so what, I, oh, that's why I brought up V-Chain. And so what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, things are going to start ramping up. And that's why I'm saying November, December. But I could be wrong. It could be October, man. So get everything, every penny right now. Every penny. Especially look at the big dip we just had, what, for the past, what, week? Look, look. Oh, my gosh. The markets were got slaughtered the past week. You better be gobbling all that up. All right? All right, brothers. You know I love you. Just want you to get rich. Look, look. Is that so wrong? Is it so wrong to have a dream? <laughs> all right, guys. So, look. Back could be a huge catalyst for institutional participation in the crypto market. Bang. Damn right it's going to be. We think back could be a huge catalyst for institutional participation in the crypto market. Here are our takeaways from the back institutional summit yesterday at the New York Stock Exchange. Oh, okay. Oh, so I guess that's some sort of tweet I'm supposed to look at. Oh, whatever, guys. You can go look at the tweet. You guys know I put the links to these stories in the description of the videos I make. So you know, if you want to go look at the tweet, go look at the tweet. Look, back hosted an institutional summit. Oh, yes, yes. And here's where our money is coming from, brothers. Look, BACT hosted an institutional summit this week at the New York Stock Exchange. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Fuck, I forgot about this part of the story. Look, look. Holy, I would have gotten way more fueled if I had remembered. <laughs> look, this is a good piece. That's right. That's right. Yeah, they already, so they're not even up for business yet. They brought in institutional investors and said, look, look, look. You guys need some crypto? Ugh. You know who we are. We're ICE. We own the New York Stock Exchange. Look, look, brothers. We're going to bring you some crypto. Oh, yes. And there was jubilation and joy. Joy and jubilation. Champagne and caviar flying. Yes. Yes. Look. <laughs> you know these rich people are. Yes. Back toast. <laughs> Back toast in the institutional summit this week. At the New York Stock Exchange. No, seriously, though. Back to hosting an institutional summit this week at the New York Stock Exchange, whose parent company, ICE, that's the company that, that controls Back, is behind the Bitcoin Futures Exchange. Based on the anecdotes from that event, things are looking quite bullish for Bitcoin in the latter parts of this year. I told you. I fucking... I know how this is going to work. Look, brothers, I've been doing this shit for a long, long time. Am I right about everything? No, but most shit. Yep. Look, look. Told you May, June, July. Look, look. Told you bye, bye, bye. Look, look. Told you it was going to be a bloodbath last year. Look, look. I'm telling you, November, December. I mean, bang. Yes, like all that shit you guys talk about to the moon and all that kind of crap. That's going to begin November, December this year. And it ain't going to stop for a couple, four or five years. I think the... Like, what do you mean, man? I, what I mean is I think the, that's going to be the beginning of a bubble. And I think this bubble is going to last about four to five years. Four, five, six years. Let's put it that way. Five years is the one, though, actually, really. I think it'll last about five years. Right, it'll just be a frenzy. Everyone's going to be blockchaining up. A lot of, like, in terms of companies are actually going to be started deploying blockchain, right? Is what I mean. And then as they're being deployed, right, um, the legitimacy of these companies are going to come out. Yeah, well, this VeChain thing, it's not just some stupid little crypto thing. Yeah, it fucking authenticates your fucking food, motherfucker. Right? It, it's in your BMW right now. Right? You know, it's real. And so, yeah, guys. Uh, November, December, so bye, bye, bye. Bye, bye, bye. Uh, so, based on the anecdotes from the event, things are looking quite bullish for Bitcoin in the latter part of this year, November, December. According to the Fundstrat note, there was a robust turnout at the conference of more than 150 investors. Oh, yeah. And you know that those guys represent other guys. You know what I mean? You don't have to send all the hedge fund guys. You just send one guy and he goes and listens to the presentation and then goes back and tells the homeboys. Look, look. Backed events, a backed event displays rising interest in Bitcoin futures. The Commodity Futures Trading Commission, the CFTC, uh, which is critical in the launch of backed Bitcoin futures contracts, also had a representation. Exactly. The CFTC sent a representative to Back's own little thing. Back's little uh, thing right here at the, uh, the New York Stock Exchange, right? Uh, so that means they're all on board. They're on board. Um, fun stretch report indicates that the CFTC is seeing growing demand and interest for Bitcoin futures from the public. The unveiling of Bitcoin futures contracts by the CME and CBOE was largely considered to mark the beginning of the crypto bull market of 2017. I told you when I saw the CBOE and the CME futures, I was like, wait a minute, is this crypto stuff real? And then I told you. Well, the thing that made me do it was, bang, it's on the Bloomberg terminal. I said, look, look. Bang! Well, I see what's going on here. <laughs> yes, I'll get in first. So soon it will be clear whether history will have a way of repeating itself. So Ari Paul, Block Tower Capital, CIO, also participated in the backed event. And he appears to be bracing for a wave of users into the space. A wave. Exactly. They've been waiting. Their money is there. 
But like I told you, they're not going to use BitMEX. They're not going to use Coinbase and all that. Those are little garbage. That's garbage to those guys. They're not going to do that. Um, but when a thing like Bact comes online, institutional grade, that's the way to say it. Binance, BitMEX, Bitstamp, all those, that's like retail grade. It's actually not even retail grade. It's actually a bunch of bullshit, to tell you the truth. But I mean, you got to get your crypto where you can get it. And so we got to deal with what we got to deal with. Yeah, but guys with, you know, I'm a $20 billion hedge fund. I don't deal with that bullshit. I make a billion dollars a year. Why am I going to risk putting my money on some little shitty thing for crypto? Fuck crypto. I'll just go make money over here in options. You know, Forex, whatever, bonds. You know what I mean? Like, that's what you have to remember. These guys don't need crypto. Crypto needs these guys. We need them. They don't need us. They make billions already. Yeah, that's why they're a $20 billion hedge fund, right? <laughs> they make money already. So they don't need to be here. So it's like if you want to entice them, you got to have the stuff. You know? Or they're like, mm, fuck your little thing. You know, We'll just go make money how we usually do. You know? So look, why did I tell you all that? Oh, oh, the new u the, oh, the users are coming into the space. Yes, fund stretch report indicates Paul uh, believes that retail adoption will be an enormous once will be enormous. Oh, okay, he says this part. Retail adoption will be enormous once a killer app UI makes crypto on ramp safe, reliable, and as easy to use as PayPal. Now, if you follow the signs, there is a great deal of pent up demand for physically settled. Bang! Look, look, look! Now, if you're new here, there's two types of futures. There's physically settled, and there's cash settled. Ugh, I'm not going to explain what a whole futures contract is. But let me just tell you, once you buy a futures and the contract ends, you can either get the money, or you can get the product that you do, that you buy. Bang! And what we need in this crypto land is physically settled, are physically settled futures. In other words, once the contract is up, yeah, the customer gets the Bitcoin. The customer gets the Ethereum. The customer gets the Litecoin. Not just the cash equivalent, but they actually take that asset off the market. Okay? And that's another reason why Bact is so amazing. And will help us and will help us with the price because yeah, it creates scarcity. Scarcity, yeah, less of them on the market. Well, the more valuable they are, right? It's, it's not rocket science. Look, so now that there is a greater clarity on the timing of the back launch, Bitcoin could finally be headed to the second inning. I believe so. I believe so. But it's not just backed. Backed is great, and this is awesome. <clears throat> but I'd like to see, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to see like in Switzerland, Switzerland 6-6, six, six, they, they have their futures contracts up. Yeah, but that's what we need around the world. I want to see the London boys come in. Yes. Oh, yes. You know what I mean? And uh, Tokyo. New York, London, Tokyo. Those are the three powerhouse economic hubs of the world, right? And so, yes, I want to see them all come in. But backed is good enough for now. That puts New York on the map. Bang! Puts America on the map. Bang! But the most importantly, institutional grade. It's institutional grade. Right? I Like I said the other day, you're probably wondering, Shamori, man, you said when custody comes, we're going to have all this money. Well, Coinbase has custody. Why aren't we getting all this money? Because they're not going to trust that. They don't trust Coinbase. They don't trust BitMEX, Binance, Bitfinex, and all that. That's garbage. <laughs> Those are trash. Believe, and they are. They are trash. Why do you think you keep your fucking shit on a Ledger Nano instead of on the exchange? Because it's garbage. Yeah. Well, if you have $50 billion worth of client money, you're definitely, right? You understand, right? Okay, so, bang, guys, great nude for us. All right, let's get you, let's get you going back to your weekend or getting gone weekend. Let's get some shout outs going. Bang, look, look. <clears throat> get some notifications. What we got? Bang, pop, hey, wood. Oh, there it is. <laughs> he told me, because Poppy was like this. He said, what, nothing about the seed ontology? partnership jeez i was like oh damn dog don't do me like that <laughs> but seriously i didn't hear about it so he dropped me a url and so bang yes url dropped motherfucker yes all right all right poppywood 
We'll get that done on Monday show or Tuesday show is when I do it. Yes, Poppy. We got it. I didn't hear about it. Of course I talk about it. Bang! So Poppy would love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang! Yes! Hurricane Master! Bang! Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang! Yes! Look, look! Son of a bitch! Look! Bang! Look, look! Bang! Look, look! Bang! Gotcha! Yes! Love you. Bidium! Bang! See you, brother. Sweetie! Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it. That's how you kiss someone on the internet. You go, right? <laughs> you put your cursor over their lips. Look, look, sweetie. Love you, girl. Bang. See you soon. Bitcoin Kong. Bang. You're still rocking it. Yeah, he's just he's just having a good old time on his yacht right now. Kong's just out on the high seas on his yacht lately. Here's Kong. Love you, brother. <laughs> Bang. We got Radster. Bang! Yes. <laughs> Deep Entertainment. Bang! Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang! Now oh, this idiot. I'm not even going to give him a bang. That was some stupid shit. Dino! Look, look, brother. Love you, brother. Bang! Oh, and Dino... I know. This Indian government... And that, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. But the thing is... So, you guys remember we talked about the, uh, the, Indian, the Indian crypto regulations. And they're saying that they might... Right, they're saying like just owning it or all this shit, like that they might put you in jail for ten years, right? And so people don't know if that's a real bill or what, right? And so the one guy, I'll just tell you the story right now. One guy from I don't know, it's like the it's like the Treasury Secretary of America. He went into the Parliament of India and they asked him, like, our bit our, our crypto's banned, and he said no. Right, but yeah, but that's no right now. But are they going to be banned when this law comes out? And so that's why I didn't read it because we just need a definitive answer. So I'll read it once we get a definitive answer. I'll read about India once we get a definitive answer. All right, moon landing, 420. Bang, see you, brother. Bid him, bang. Yes, got two there. Yeah, why not? We're throwing out extra ones. Bang, sweetie. Yes. Oh, oh, my favorite. Look, look. Oh, and look who's down there. Hold on first. Bang. Look, look. Here comes the big money. Boom. Back to coming online on Monday. Start testing. Hopefully we get this. Boom. And there he is. Van Brieden. Oh, I should have showed you guys. Yeah, yeah, Van Brieden, he's famous around here. We all say that shit. Van Brieden! Yes! I'm going to leave his mother alone tonight. His mom's taking an early night to bed, so we'll leave it at that. Bye, let me get you back to your wives and lives. Bang! Look, look! Bang! Yes! Welcome back, everybody. So, guys, yes, we had a great show. Yes, as usual. Yes. Naturally. So, <laughs> Zcash, hard fork. All right, they had a good old hard fork. So I hope if you have if you are a Zcash hodler, you saw what it said, you can use your old private key or your old Zcash key and you're going to get it sounded like whoops, what happened here? Oh, there we go. It sounded like the you're going to get the equivalent of Ycash. And uh you know, well, have at it. It's good for you. Bang. Then China rules on crypto the court. Now, like I said, I don't know if they have the same power structure as here in America, right? Like our 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 courts are a co-equal branch. Like they will shoot down a law, and psh, there's nothing the fucking the politicians can do about it except write a new one. So I don't know how powerful it is, but if it's a co-equal branch, well, their internet court, and you see that internet court thing in China, it, it's just for like for digital crimes, right? And so. Yeah, if they say crypto's a, what did they say it was, a property, if they have the same stuff like we do here and probably where you're watching, if you're in Europe or the UK or Canada, Iceland, Greenland, uh, you know, uh, Australia, your courts have power. And so if the Chinese government works like that, well, fuck, here they come. Here come the Chinese then, so... I'm going to keep an eye on it and all that, and we'll see how it goes. 
Because like I said, I, I, I'm not going to bullshit you. I just don't know what level their courts have. You know, like a court in Turkey, yeah, that has no power. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whereas a court here in America, like I said, yeah, it could over, overturn, you know, medical marijuana. Fuck all that if they felt like it. So, all right. So, and then back to exchange. Look, look, back, back. Now I know. A lot of you guys, <laughs> especially Bob, you don't believe it's going to come. I'll believe it when I see it. Shit like that, which is true, which is good. Yeah, you know, it's true. Until it's until that until the contract is signed, you haven't onboarded anything. And so, well, I'm talking about a regular company, but yeah, until the futures come out, well, it's still just a dream. And so, I agree, I agree, Bob, I agree, brother, I know. But I think this time is real because you don't just say, "Fuck this," I'm self-certifying for nothing, right? Like. You mean it. <laughs> yeah, you fucking mean it. I hope they do, man. I hope I'm not wrong. The struggle is real, brother. <laughs> so we'll see. So, guys, let me get you back to your wives and lives. Bang, let's chill and kill it. Have a great weekend. Bang, let's do this thing. Guys, subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notification when I do this show. I love talking money. love talking crypto. My name is Shamar Clark. Bang, this is the favorite time of my day. There's nothing more I love than helping a bunch of brothers. Make lots and lots of money. That's what I plan to do. And man, you know, it's, it's good to have a bunch of buddies with you doing something, right? You go out hunting, you can't just go out by yourself. You got to have some buddies with you. You know, you go to Las Vegas, you can't just do it by yourself. You got to have some buddies with you. Look, look, you're going to be a millionaire. Well, you know, doesn't hurt to have a couple buddies with you. Share so my buddies. Bang, you're my crew. Bang, you're my team. Bang, you're my uh, posse. Look, bang, yes. So, guys, subscribe below. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Boom. And yo, by the time I see you on Tuesday, we're going to, there'll be more back news. We'll be hearing about that back thing already. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to keep us well updated about that. That's our institutional money. That's the institutional. Oh, let me tell you that about that. Back is the institutional money on ramp. Yeah, yeah. Coinbase, Bitfinex, all that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for cowboys and little bullshit little retailers like us. <laughs> Let's get real. I mean, I know. Shmoy, are you saying we're bullshit? No, we sure don't get the respect we deserve. I'll tell you that. <laughs> I'll tell you that. When you're letting when you when you're when your piece of shit exchange gets hacked all the time and half my shit gets stolen. Yeah, so but when back comes online, that's institutional grade. So by the time I see you on Monday, man, we should have some good news. And yes, guys. I love you guys. All right, so bang, smart clock. Look, look, always on duty. Bang. See you guys Tuesday. Have a great weekend with your loved ones, and everything like that. Look, look, sweetie. You know who you are. Yes, you have a great weekend. Yes, I know you're moving soon, so. Yes, get everything in order. Look, see you guys. Bang, Schmart Clark. Always on duty. Over and out.